The movie begins with a scene of a monster with self-healing and immortality powers. Even when it was shot through the heart, the wound could be healed with just a swipe of its hand. And the old man with a bald head, after being touched by the monster, his hair that had not been seen for a long time grew back the next day. The humanoid creature was captured by the people of the Amazon basin, worshipped as a god for generations, and the reason he appeared here was because during World War II, the special forces captured him to defeat other countries completely. They wanted to study the mythical power of the monster to defeat the enemy. Elisa was doing cleaning work when she was attracted by this mysterious creature, but at this time the monster was extremely angry. The supervisor Strickland immediately chased everyone else out, Elisa didn't care much, because there were too many strange things in this secret military base of the United States. Elisa was mute and had no complicated relationships between employees. Apart from going to work every day, her free time was to enjoy the relaxing feeling in the bathtub. Today she boiled eggs again and brought them to the company, but before she could start eating, Strickland ran out of the laboratory with blood all over his body. Strickland was taken to the emergency room, and Elisa and her friend Zelda took charge of cleaning up, this was her second time in here. Elisa picked up the bucket and was about to wash the blood off the floor. As a result, two severed fingers were found, Zelda was shocked and immediately ran out to call for someone, but Elisa still calmly put the severed fingers in her pocket, the monster heard the noise and slowly swam towards the glass. The wound on the monster's body was clearly caused by Strickland. This was the first time the two met. Soon after, Zelda and the supervisor came over, Elisa immediately handed over the severed finger, to thank the two for finding their finger. Strickland even met them directly, at this time the severed finger had been sewn back to his hand. Elisa even gave him back his wedding ring, for which the two were assigned the task of cleaning the laboratory. Elisa was born mute and had very few friends, the sudden appearance of the monster caught her attention, and from then on Elisa constantly came to the laboratory, sometimes Elisa took out a boiled egg and tapped lightly on the eggshell. The tapping sound immediately attracted the monster under the water. The monster slowly raised its head. Then it slowly swam to the edge of the tank and slowly stood up. But the monster, who had been tortured by humans, was still wary. It had never eaten eggs before. Elisa carefully placed the egg down, then made a few gestures. The monster saw this, picked up the egg and returned to the pool. From then on, the relationship between Elisa and the monster became closer and closer. Elisa even boiled eggs and brought them to the monster every day. After cleaning up, she would take out the eggs she had prepared beforehand, then turn on the music and wait for the monster to appear. Two lonely souls became friends. Elisa brought delicious eggs to it every day, and the two became closer and closer. Elisa even danced for the monster to see. The two did not speak, but they could communicate silently, and this scene was also seen by the doctor. This showed that the monster was not a beast, but a very intelligent creature. This discovery shocked the doctor. However, the next day when Elisa returned, she saw the monster chained in blood. It was clear that they had just tortured the monster. Elisa wanted to remove the chain, but she had no tools. As soon as the door to the laboratory opened again, Elisa immediately hid behind the equipment. Strickland came in from outside, picked up a cattle prod and continuously shocked the monster. Clearly, he was taking revenge for the monster biting off his finger. The military commander also happened to come to check, and both the commander and Strickland only cared about the progress of the experiment, not the monster who was vomiting blood on the ground. Only the doctor felt pity for this perfect species. But in order to speed up the progress, Strickland proposed to D.S.S.E.C.T. the monster. The commander was willing to agree, as long as there were results, but the doctor did not want to kill this wonderful creature. He strongly opposed the proposal, but it aroused the anger of the commander. The commander said, count how many stars there are on my uniform. There are five stars. This shows that I can do whatever I want. I can listen to your reasons, but the ultimate decision is still mine. Seeing the determination of the commander, Elisa immediately followed, but the doctor's reasons did not convince the commander. It was clear that they had decided to dissect the monster alive. At a loss, Elisa immediately went home and found her landlord, named Giles. Giles was also one of Elisa's friends. Elisa wanted Giles to go save the monster with her, but how could Giles risk his life for a the monster? Giles went to the bar to confess to the boy he liked, but he was rejected by the other party because he was old. Giles returned home in pain and agreed to Elisa's request. Thus, Elisa took advantage of her position to quietly change the camera angle. Giles worked as a garbage collector and went to the back door of the base. Elisa went into the laboratory to open the chain, and planned to take the monster away, but she didn't bring any tools. Fortunately, the doctor soon discovered it and waited here, and gave Elisa the key. The doctor also intended to release the monster, the doctor showed Elisa how to raise a monster, and then the doctor gave Elisa a special salt. With the help of the doctor, Elisa successfully took the monster away. Strickland on the other side happened to see the garbage truck on the surveillance camera. 
Strickland had a hunch that something was wrong, so he immediately called the guard. When the guard checked the documents, he found that they were fake. Fortunately, the doctor had prepared everything early, he used a bomb to burn the electrical box. The doctor picked up the vial and stepped forward to knock out the guard. Zelda on this side joined Elisa in taking the monster away, when Strickland and his men arrived, the monster had already boarded the car and left. Elisa sealed the gap in the door with a bath towel, then turned on all the faucets in the bathroom. The water level kept rising under the feet of one person and one monster. Soon, the water pushed the entire bathroom, Elisa and the monster were reunited happily in this way, the landlord looked at the leaking door and didn't know the reason, so he directly opened the door, all the water inside flowed out at the same time, Elisa and the monster were hugging each other tightly. This is a forbidden love of different species, but it also has a strange feeling, Elisa tasted the love of her twenties for the first time, she even wore red high heels, which was not in line with her style. Zelda, who had experience, understood immediately, Zelda was surprised by the combination of man and monster. At this time, the monster was dying due to leaving the water for too long. Elisa immediately placed him in a bathtub full of water, then sprinkled the special salt given by the doctor, but the monster seemed to be about to die. Fortunately, after a period of soaking, the monster came back to life. Since rescuing the monster, Elisa has had the intention of releasing the monster. The water level in this channel will rise in October, and this channel leads to the sea, which will be an opportunity to release the monster. When Elisa returned home, she secretly marked it on the calendar. This is the day the two parted ways, on the other side, Strickland was blamed by the commander for losing the monster. At this time, Strickland still thought it was done by the enemy's special forces, he began to investigate the staff in the base, but Elisa and Zelda, a sweeper of feces and a wiper of urine, easily passed the inspection, but before leaving, Elisa asked about Strickland and his family with gestures, even if Strickland was uneducated and didn't understand, he also knew that Elisa was scolding him. Fortunately, Zelda came forward to mediate. At the same time, Giles was watching the monster who had fallen asleep on the chair, the monster quietly climbed out of the bathtub and went outside, Everything here was new to him, and the cat sleeping in the living room attracted all his attention. He was really hungry. When the landlord heard the noise and stepped out to check, the cat had already entered the monster's stomach. He was about to step forward to stop him, but the monster was so scared that he immediately ran away. The monster also scratched Giles. When Elisa returned, she only saw a mess on the ground. Giles did not care about himself, and immediately let Elisa go find the monster. Elisa followed the blood prints along the way to the deserted movie theater downstairs. It turned out that the monster after escaping, had been watching a movie here. After returning home, the monster realized that he had made a mistake, and even apologized to the cat. Giles also knew that he had accidentally injured himself, so he did not blame him, but the monster blamed himself, let him put his hand on his head. Then his whole body shone with blue light. The next day, when Giles changed the bandage on his arm, he found that the wound had disappeared. Moreover, his bald head had grown hair back. Elisa helped the monster back into the bathtub, the monster really started to have the intention of lust. Elisa was scared and pushed the monster away, but when she lay in bed for a long time, she couldn't sleep, finally, she seemed to have made up her mind. Then Elisa opened the door and stepped into the bathroom. The relationship between the two people has been close ever since, and the doctor also regularly brings food to the monster. The rainy season is approaching. The water level in the channel was also rising, but before the day of release, the monster seemed to be in trouble. His skin began to peel off, and he coughed up a lot of blood, Zelda was also helpless after checking, and immediately called the doctor for help, but the doctor was preparing to flee. He was a spy for the enemy, and he intended to kill TTHE monster to stop the experiment. He had betrayed everyone and chosen to let the monster die. But the Soviet agent decided to silence the doctor, but fortunately, Strickland, who was always suspicious, followed the doctor. After Strickland dealt with the agents, he asked the doctor about the whereabouts of the monster. As a result, when he learned that the person who did it was Elisa, Strickland suddenly realized, based on the information of the staff, he went to Zelda's house. She was still loyal and did not betray Elisa, but her husband was a coward. After learning the whereabouts of the monster, Strickland immediately ran to Elisa's house. But when Strickland arrived, Elisa has already taken the monster away. Strickland immediately followed the note on the calendar. Elisa and the monster were saying goodbye on the bank of the channel, but Strickland suddenly appeared and shot Elisa painfully. Fortunately, the monster who fell to the ground was not dead. The rain gave him strength. The monster's entire body was shining with blue light, and a touch of his hand on his chest healed the wound. The, the monster then used its claws to destroy Strickland. When Zelda arrived, the monster was carrying Elisa and jumped into the water. Elisa and the monster were in the water. The monster looked at the woman in front of him who had saved him, and the monster took the initiative to hug Elisa and kissed her passionately. 
Elisa was revived, and Elisa's neck did not know why it became a fishgill at this time. It seemed that this was the world that Elisa belonged to. The episode ended here, thank you for watching the video.